guys i'm back at it again um i first want to say that i'm really really sorry for my contact and my my content and my first video it was my very first video of recording myself editing and all that stuff and um yeah i was just like really super nervous i know the lighting wasn't that great but work with me so today i have with you a burrito It has like chicken, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, and I believe sour cream. So yeah, talking about my first video, even though it wasn't that great, I really wanted to push myself and, you know, finally get a YouTube video out there because, like I said, I was really inspired by other YouTubers. Excuse my nails. So yeah, I was really inspired by other YouTubers and I've been really holding it on for a long time to make one. I kept like making excuses like, oh, I don't know what to talk about. I don't know what my first meal is going to be. I don't know much about. how to edit or do all those fancy things but I decided to know you know to try it out you know worst thing that can happen is I mean what what's the worst thing that can happen I also have um orange soda So lately what I've been seeing a lot on my news feeds on YouTube is about the whole big thing about Nikocado Avocado going from a vegan to now eating animal, animal products. And I kind of went to share this in my first video, but as you can see, I didn't get to. And... I just really want to share my, you know, my thoughts, my opinion, because he is one of the top YouTubers that I do watch on a daily basis. And I just felt, you know, why not share my opinion? Honestly, I feel like it's kind of messed up to bash somebody because... Of them choosing to live a different lifestyle. But as being human, we should learn to realize that what works for others may not work for another person. And I honestly feel like, you know... People coming at him, people, you know, sending him hate mail, you know, threatening him and everything. It's messed up because at least he's letting us into his life. And, you know, at least he wasn't that type of person who could have been, you know, lying to us, you know, all this time where he could have, you know, ate plant-based on camera. But as soon as, you know, 
the cameras were off and everything, he could have been stuffing his face with, you know, chicken wings and all that good stuff. Sorry. <laughs> I just feel it's unfair to judge somebody who noticed that something wasn't working out for him. He tried and tried and it still wasn't working out. So he was like, you know what? Let me try something else. And from his, you know, point of view and everything, it's been like a really good choice that he's made. Oops. And I really commend him for that. For the simple fact that it's not easy stepping out of your comfort zone. For having thousands of people see you live one type of lifestyle. And then you are honest with them and like, look, I no longer believe in this. It's not working for me and I want to try something new. And that's something that we have to all consider that. Just because we may have followed him because he's a vegan and, you know, people are vegan and they're like, okay, you know, I can watch him, I can learn stuff from him. And then from one day to another, he's like, I'm no longer vegan. I know it has to hurt, you know, but like I said, we're human and we have to do what's good for us. We have to live for ourselves because nobody's going to live for us. And that's one thing, you know, we have to remind ourselves that nobody's going to do for you what you can do for you. Another thing that I found out today was my hamster died. So sad. Like, I still can't believe it. So, okay, we had, we have the, we had two hamsters. One was Coco and the other one was named Maria. And they had babies and I believe it was like seven of them. We gave some to some friends and we kept two of them. And it is pretty cold right now. So he could have died because he was cold or I don't know, man. But I'm really upset, you know, because... The father died. The mother died as well. Pablo and Maria. So, the last, you know, bit of thing of them is the kids. Yeah, but that's what I found out when I got home. So upsetting. Not something you want to hear. Another favorite YouTuber of mine is Eat With Chungi. I love her. She's so real. And she doesn't care what anybody thinks. And I totally admire that. <clears throat> because nowadays we're taught that you can't, you know, tell somebody how you feel. You can't tell the truth because you're too brutally honest. Her and her man make funny videos. 
she does mukbangs alone, but once in a while, you know, her man joins her and everything. They're hilarious. But yeah, I thought, you know, I should mention her because she's one of my favorite YouTubers and she's just so real. Like, she doesn't care what anybody thinks, what anybody says. She says it how it is and you gotta respect it. Like, how can you not? Anyways, as you can see, I'm done. Hope you enjoyed this episode with me and stay tuned.